Welcome everyone, my name is Kailoa, we're back in Inscription Casey's Bond. Today, I'm going to try doing a, uh, what would you call, a squirrel friendly run, or no squirrels harmed run, that should, that'll be, it's a no squirrels harmed run. Um, so if you know, at the final, final screen, when you reach the end, it, says, it shows you how many squirrels have been harmed in the course of your run. We are going to go for zero. So, start with the no cost deck because we need to be able to get somebody for zero cost on the board. And we have our wolf here to help us out as well. Actually, I'm going to that squirrel just to make sure I don't accidentally use a loiter. Set him free. Good though, because at least though we have some alternative offensive cards between the wolf, bullfrog, and geck. Not really feeling any of those. Cockroach, yes. I'm gonna go with the geck. Because Gek can be a real hero during this run. In any run, really. Oh, two sparrows. I can't do anything about that. do this however rabbits are not squirrels oh boy all right well it's three to three now and then we'll just draw our geck geck can take out a sparrow and there we go now life is much better scoop um, five. Oh, yeah, we'll just end up with zero teeth anyway. What would be good? I think I'll put black goat on tadpole, cockroach on geck. Moose bucks are it. All right, cockroach on geck. That's gonna be the most important for us. Skunk and Sparrow. Okay. We can handle that. And there we go. Two transfers. I don't need two transfers. But a bonfire would be great. Adder works. Adder would be great. Because speaking of Adder... There we go. Hold Adder at the right moment. Black Goat, you're gonna go on Tadpole. Oh yes, thank you, Gek. Actually, you know what? The less time we spend here, the better. Gold. Gold, gold, gold. But we don't care about gold. Clean these up for... Actually, that puts us right into the um, strike, strike, dis strike zone, kill zone. Because we can take the Bloodhound out with us. Actually, what I really need is another tadpole with the many lives. Ooh. Odag, actually. Because I like to be a rebel. Do I want a card? You know what? A card would actually wouldn't be too bad. I have two serpents. Got a lot of health. Do 
See there, you know what? Another tadpole. That will work. Wires. Ooh, scissors. Dang. Or deck and eat away at that fur. That raven off the board. toughest thing with Hodag is just getting him past that first point. It's so much easier to take down cards with two than one. You're like, here, now Hodag can take out all of these Raven Eggs. But unfortunately, he does not have Unkillable. So we cannot uh, move him. Unfortunately. I can't pull a tadpole or a geck. Actually, I might as well try. Wolverine's not bad, actually. We'll put Wolverine onto Wolf. We put it on the bunny, I suppose. Ooh, an elk. Alright. Well, we know what to do about that. Tadpole swims. Well, we could just do this then. Eat hold egg. Too bad the wolf's not a permanent bump, but that's okay. Now we can get lots of teeth. Ooh, now we can buy the knife if we ever need it. Dire Wolf, you'll be great. Yes, yes, I know exactly who I want you to cop. You know what? I'm okay with that. For damage, okay. Just enough to survive. Actually, we can get rid of that elk fawn also. See, look, Odag's already back up and running. Speaking of Odag, there. Because uh, I'm hoping to get some good abilities onto him and then fuse into a super Odag. But until then, we will do make do. Now can we get a tribe or something? Centrals, we will win. Blood? Uh, probably the best chance we have. Probably... No, okay. Oh, well, maybe we'll get something good. Or not. Okay. At least you make a bunny. Alright. The rabbit or Gek? Instinct's telling me Gek. Now, Darwolf, you're gonna go on Udek. Okay.
works for me. We don't need to level Podag in this fight, we just need to survive. That's the key thing. Possibility we might draw something that won't win next turn, so we're just gonna make sure that we win. Oh, well, there we go. Moose Buck. The Gek is actually stronger than Moose Buck, so we'll go with Gek. Another Gek. Yes, I like that idea. Can we please avoid Prime? All right, excellent. We got actually too many cards now. Love to throw away, but I want. Akrat, actually, you're not too bad, especially if I throw you on Gek. Yeah, this will work. Oh, that's right. Stump doesn't have Mighty Leap. Hmm. But we have Hodag, and that's more important than anything. <laughs> nice. Come on, I need good ability. Ooh, ooh, field my field nice. Uh decision time. Do I give myself Inf do I? Because there's a fusion coming up. Do I set myself up to say get double hold eggs, which wouldn't be bad, or do I say put it on gag, give myself infinite gags, or infinite items? I like. Okay, actually the. I, I said the words infinite gex and I was just like, well, yeah, that's that's the thing to do. Oop. Cannot allow them to survive. Just so we avoid any future pack rats. Cockroach. I don't think we're going to get lucky with another transfer and fusion combo, but we might. Because then we can get uh, unkillable Hodex. Possibility. Wait, no, there's usually only three nodes, so no, I don't think we're going to get it. Ouch. Question. I have two candles. Deal two, take four, and die. No, I have a spare candle. No, we'll be okay. Thank you for the teeth needs extra health. Everyone could use extra health, except we're going to go with Gek. Why not have an army of Geks? Now Cockroach on Hodag. There we go. So now if Hodag dies, we can just put him back on the board. Hmm.
What do I want to do here? Wow, it's not expecting to use up all of my items right off the bat, but here we are. Oh, we're still good. Because now he won't hook any of our cards, and Raven can fly. There we are. Older. That's okay. Raven and Pack Rat, they have this. Ooh. Go Hodag. You know, get the overflow. You know, feast again. Oh, nice. Let's go. Long Elk, actually. And let's get some items. Let's. Ooh, bleach is great. Our. Or, um, spot. Uh, magnifying glass is great. What we can do. Yeah, we'll do this. <laughs> I was like, oh, we still have to worry about the masks and the fish hook and all that nonsense. And the pickaxe. Pickaxe is what I was most worried about. But I'm not too worried anymore. He hasn't even prepped. There he is. Now he's prepped. We have an open field. We have all the cards we need. I want Odag. And we'll get Moose Buck out, Yak out, Long Elk out. Because we have this, there's no way you can't hold Dag by himself. Odag number two, you can come out. And then, oh, I already hit <laughs> go. I was going to put out another gek. What? Once. Oh, no. Well, this wasn't a squirrel harm deck. It turned out to just be a super powered gek hodag run. But that's okay. Because that I that's those are great cards. So I'm gonna have to try no squirrel har squirrels harm again. I don't remember when I did that, but I'm sure I just thought it was a rabbit or smoke or something. So I will have to try that again. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. Leave a comment below if there's any particular runs you're interested in seeing. Like and subscribe to see more, and I will catch you later in the next episode.